So the next question is, it took me one hour to go 40 km on the highway. Then it took me two more hours to go 20 km using the streets. So the question is, what is the average speed? So the given options are, option A is 20 km per hour, option B is 10 km per hour, option C is 15 km per hour and option D is 30 km per hour. So the logic to be applied for this problem is, first of all, we need to identify the given datas. So the given values are, first and second travel distance are given in kilometers. And the time is given in hours. Secondly, we have to calculate the total distance by using the formula total distance is equal to the first travel distance plus the second travel distance. Also we have to find the total time by using the formula the first travel time plus the second travel time. And lastly calculate the total speed by using the formula speed is equal to distance by time. Let us see the solution for this problem. Since the total distance is equal to the first trip distance plus the second trip distance, which implies the total distance is equal to the 40 km per hour, sorry, the 40 km plus 20 km, which is equal to 60 km. Therefore, the total distance is 60 km and the total time is equal to the first trip time plus the second trip time which implies the total time is equal to 1 hour plus 2 hours which is equal to 3 hours. Therefore, the total time is equal to 3 hours. So, the average speed is equal to total distance by total time is the formula. So substituting the known values in this formula, we get the average speed is equal to 60 km by 3 hours, which is equal to 20 km per hour. Therefore, the option A, 20 km per hour is the answer. The next problem is, a sky driver accelerates from 20 m per second to 40 m per second in 2 seconds. The question is, what is the average sky driver's acceleration? So the options given are, option A is 10 meter per square second, option B is 20 meter per square second, option C is 30 meter per square second, and option D is 40 meter per square second. So the logic to be applied for this problem is, First of all, we need to identify the given values. So the given data are the initial and final acceleration are in meter per second and the time is in seconds. Secondly, we have to identify the total acceleration by using the formula total acceleration is equal to the final acceleration minus the initial acceleration. And lastly, identify the average acceleration by using the formula, average acceleration is equal to total acceleration by time. Let us see the solution for this problem. Since the average acceleration is equal to the final speed minus the initial speed divided by time, substituting the known values in this formula we get 40 meter per second minus 20 meter per second divided by 2 seconds which is equal to 20 meter per second by 2 seconds which implies 10 meter per square second therefore the option a 10 meter per square second is the answer 